The first snow is falling, just crystallized in the sky, just formed perfect in a cloud factory in the sky, and falling to the earth and gathering, starting to gather richly and thickly on the pavement. Down it falls to earth and domes on top of cars and hand railings and iron gates, shutting everything down, locking everything in, shoring everything up. The first snow of the season. And I'm on my way to my last day at work before the holidays. I'm walking to work and this man, this young man, interrupts the splendor of the snow. Outside this Romanian psychic place that says psychic readings with neon lights, this young man wearing a yellow sandwich board on his body with a hat cocked at a rude angle on his head is flicking this card at people. This card that says psychic readings or psychic discounts. Usually, I know to steal myself against the advancement, but today, on this day, my last day of work before the holidays, I don't see him whip it out and go... Flick. 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 Out of nowhere, into my field of vision, my personal space, my own psychic enjoyment of the first snow is interrupted by... Flick. 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 Without speaking, just... Flick. 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 The first snow is beautiful, fresh, and light, and clean, and this business card, the one he flicked, it has been around. Flicked again and again until he gets someone startled enough to take it. I I swerve to avoid it and bump into him knocking off his hat. Hey! Watch where you're going. Well, same to you. Nothing's going to get me down today because it just started snowing and I have, what, a couple of hours before the fresh, fluffy, cold stuff is peppered with salt to facilitate foot traffic and mixed with the dirt in the streets and becomes wet and brown and cold and slush? And suddenly, I see that when the hat fell, it fell in front of my feet. There it lies in the clean, soft snow as though placed in a white velvet display case The kind of display case out of which you might make a purchase. So, I pick it up, and the hat is made of silk. It's old and beautiful, and the rude psychic sandwich young man hasn't turned around. He hasn't even noticed. And no, one shouldn't be punished for being rude. But neither should they be rewarded with beautiful, old, rather magical-looking silk hats. To avoid further discovery, I sidestep my normal streets and pass through the park on my way to work. I'm careful now not to leave identifying footsteps in the fresh snow, lest I be followed, lest my hat snatching be discovered. Luckily, the fresh snow covers cars, handrails, iron gates, and crimes alike. The park is full of screaming, running children. That's why iPods are nice. It's like they all got some sort of notice about the snow and have poured out and overrun the park. And some of them are building a snowman. Do you want to help? What? Do you want to help? With what? We're building a snowman. See, this is his round belly legs. Okay. And this is his round belly belly. Sure. And this is his round belly head. I see that. See, here are the eyes. They're pieces of coal. Ah, and this is his nose. It's the extra butt from Sam's coat. It's the extra butt from my coat! And these are his stick hands. Made of actual sticks. Exactly, and this is his scarf, and this is his pipe. Do you like him? I don't usually date smokers. He's not done. But almost. You've got his legs, his torso, his head, his eyes, his arms, his scarf, his pipe, his nose. All we need is a hat. A silk hat? It would be nice. Well, this silk hat isn't actually mine. Then why are you holding it? For a friend? Okay, okay, here you go. If it'll finish your snowman. If it will make him real for you, fine, fine. Here you go. And the kid puts the hat on the snowman's head, and it does. I'm the snowman, Frosty. 
I'm a man made out of snow. I got twiggy little arms and a magic hat and a corn cob pipe. So yeah, there's that. I sometimes feel as though God forgot me. I'm the snowman, Frosty. I approximate this life will last one frosty holiday. Because I breathe on borrowed time, I like to dance and play. You dance? Do you want to? Yes. But you didn't date smokers. Shh, shh. You're killing the magic. Where should we go? I know a couple places. I can't go inside. I'll melt. Right. So we go to this half-built condo construction dance party, half indoors, half out, with some walls, but no glass yet where there would be glass windows. Everyone is dressed to the nines. Glitter and snow is still falling, and people are too coked up to notice because it's dead of winter. And everyone is outside dancing with Frosty. Yeah, I didn't go to work. I didn't go home. I stayed with Frosty because Frosty said. Let's dance today because I'm not sure if I'll be here tomorrow. And he dances. Boy, does he dance! Undulating on two axes, three balls gyrating. He's a snowman, Frosty. Somebody, thump thump. Deep bass. He's a snowman, Frosty. He likes to get frosty. Somebody, thump. The friction of his scarf around his neck is causing a sizzle, a fizz of fabric and stick ice whittling away. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Mittens flying, mittens grasping. We do some things on the roof that I think might give me hypothermia, and some frostbite in some very inconvenient places. As we walk home, we can feel it getting warmer. Touch my shoulder. It sizzles in my hand like an Alka-Seltzer fizzing. Lick my cheek. It fizzes on my tongue. Grab my hand. I forget how his hand is twigs, and they snap in my hands. Dawn grows closer. Tomorrow the snow will stop, and it will be unseasonably warm. But tonight, it's still cold. Go to sleep. You should go home and get some sleep. I'm not tired. You'll freeze out here. I'm not cold, but I'm shivering. I really, really am. Especially since we're just standing here talking. I have one night left on Earth. No, no. What makes you think I want to spend it with you? You are so cold. Why does this always happen to me? Why am I always falling in love with a magical creature I bring to life only for the creature to tell me they need some space? There was that time I defrosted the Loch Ness monster only for it to turn out he had a thing for Grouper. I brought the last unicorn into this dimension and spent three days recovering from puncture wounds. I caught that leprechaun with a mouse trap. But things with Frosty feel different. Why does it have to end? I'm the snowman, Frosty. I'm aware of my mortality. I got a very short time left on this earth. Every time I melt, I wonder what's it worth. As I sink into the street, exhausted, I'm the snowman, Frosty. I'm lucky to have found you on this frosty winter's day, so I could hold you in my arms before I melt away. Before you melt away. Before I melt away.